Hey, welcome to this uh, Windows channel and today we're going to show you how to use in this little tips and tricks video the virtual desktops in Windows 10 and explain how it is useful in everyday work or you know just by using your computer. Now in Windows 10 they've added at the bottom left the task view icon wasn't there before. Now multiple um, virtual desktops was already available. It's available since Windows 7 but it was not used and basically most people didn't know it existed. By putting the icon here Microsoft wanted to tell us look it exists. What does it do? So for example when I click on it I've got at the bottom three virtual desktops right now and I can scroll through each of them and go to whatever I want. The reason for virtual desktops is simple. You can keep a desktop with whatever app open that you're using, doing whatever search on the internet, um, you know, and whatever you're searching for and whatever you're doing, you might not want to close this or minimize it or change the app. You just want to keep everything like it, as it is basically with all the apps. So what you do, you can actually go and click new desktop. Every time you click a new desktop, it opens a desktop with your icons that you usually have on it, but it's kind of almost having a second computer right next to the one you're using. So you can do whatever you want. You can click on the icons, you can view, try any programs here, and each desktop is autonomous. So you'll have all the apps or the programs you want in a desktop, and you can go back to another desktop, do up some other work, and have multiple desktops open on your computer. So it's very easy. All you have to do is simply click on the bottom in the task view on the bottom left icon and simply click new desktop when you want to add a new desktop and it shows up on the bottom here and you see they are um, showing as des desktop one, two, three, four. So you can just click whatever you want and view whatever, um, you know, desktop you want to use and it's really cool because each desktop like I said being autonomous you can run an app in each one instead of having multiple apps open and only one desktops and then switching between the apps at the bottom it really is an interesting feature and you know it lets you do whatever you want and what's fun is you know on some of the apps sometimes you like full screen it's complicated uh, to minimize it or to find how to you know work around and um, you know you can just open another desktop not change anything from your primary desktop if you want still keep all the programs open do what you want and you know when you want to come back all you have to do is simply click on the task view and change the desktop once you've used a desktop and you don't want it anymore all you have to do is simple desktop just has in the task view a little red X on the upper right corner you just click the X and it just shuts down the desktop from um, that list of desktops that you have open basically which is pretty cool. Another option that's uh, uh, nice in Windows 10 basically. So virtual desktops are cool, they're nice, they're easy to use in Windows 10 and basically they help you do whatever you want uh, open all the programs you want in one desktop and you know it's basically like having uh, the same computer in multiple copies open one next to each other. Of course having virtual desktops also means that your computer if it's uh, you know an older machine or it's a slower machine it can slow down a little bit your machine. On this machine I don't see any difference uh, because it's rather fast but it is possible that it could slow down if you open many virtual desktops. So that's a little tip, opening virtual desktops to have things done. Uh, it's basically like having multiple computers with the same desktop, one next to each other. Uh, and it's cool for that. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, let us know. Uh, by subscribing, you'll know when new videos are online. 
If you like our videos, give us thumbs up. And thank you so much for following us on the channel.